Hi everybody, uh, just another video on my Shelly EM uh, power monitor. So you can see it here on the left. Uh, I'm viewing it through the web interface locally on my LAN. Uh, you can interface with Shelly products either directly on the LAN as I am here, or you can download their app um, and you can control it through the Shelly cloud. Um, I don't use the cloud at the moment, might do in the future, uh, but I've been using this power monitor now for a few months, really enjoy it. You can see two channels, one on the left, one on the right for two consumer units, but it's also got here a switch. So there's a built-in relay. So on the Shelly device itself, um, you can have a switched uh, 240 volt uh, AC power output. You can switch it on and off via this web interface. You could also, also do that by the cloud, of course, but you can also do this uh, directly via webhooks or HTTP uh, requests or direct to device. So I've just typed a few of these things out so you can see what they look like. So um, the default syntax is uh, HTTP command. Uh, you have the device IP, um, that's the IP address of the Shelly device on your network, uh, the device type, uh, so there's relays, rollers, lights, uh, color lights, uh, for example. My Shelly EM energy monitor has got a relay built in, so that's the type that I have. So um, you've got um, a channel. So depending on how many relays you've got in the device will be how many channels you've got. The only thing to remember, if it's a um, single channel, uh, it's actually zero for the first channel. Then um, so you yeah, just have to remember that. Then a question mark and then the command and you can nest commands just by adding the uh, the ampersand there. So also if you've got a username and password set up, which I haven't, you can just preface this syntax uh, with the user password on here and then just at and then carry on as normal. So I was just gonna have a look at some of the commands and then we'll We'll do it uh, in real time to show you what it looks like. So some of the commands, these are the ones that go here uh, at the end of the HTTP request. So you can either turn on, you can turn off and you can toggle. So that's, I thought I'd do a couple of uh, examples. So I've just typed them out here. So on my um, Shelly, you can see up here, my IP address is 192.168.1.247. So if I do one that toggles the device on or off, it's the IP address, the device type, which is a relay. It's only got one channel, so it's channel zero, then question mark and the first command. So I'm going to turn it, but I'm going to toggle it. So every time I make this HTTP request, it will change state between on or off. So if I just copy that. We go back and then on the right hand side here i've just got a web browser open on the same network of course and press enter and if you look here to the left you can see uh, the shelly uh, relay has switched on if i just refresh that web page that should toggle and then it should go off which it has so if you look interestingly on um, the web page you get a return um, in an xml format um, from the Shelly device. So you can see this here, this string is on, is false. So, so currently it's not on, uh, has a timer, that's not there, timer started zero, etc. So that gives you an interesting uh, status. Uh, so if I just go back and we'll try another one. So here you can add a, add a timer. So again, the same, you want the IP address, the device type, a relay, the channel. I'm going to turn it on uh, and then with the ampersand, I'm going to add a timer for 10 seconds and then it will go uh, back to off again. So if I just copy that, go back to the web interface and press enter, you can see down here on the left that should come on. And then if you look at the bottom here at the right, there's a countdown timer in real time before it switches itself off again. So there we go, 10 seconds has elapsed. So it'll turn itself off. So I thought that was really helpful. Um, so for me, what that means is you could either use another Shelly device to uh, co send commands to another Shelly device. So I think that's what call she Shelly call direct um, device uh, control. Uh, but also you could use the Shelly to control 
non-Shelly devices that also support uh, HTTP uh, commands. So for example, uh, here on the right, I've got a Vera Z-Wave system. So these are Fibaro Z-Wave relays um, and uh, therefore not compatible with a uh, Shelly Wi-Fi device. But I could use Shelly's ability to send uh, HTTP requests uh, on the local area network, and then I could control a non Shelly device. So I thought I'd just give you an example of how I might do that. So uh, you, you don't need to, to know this, but for a Vera uh, relay, um, or a Z Wave relay, this is what a HTTP command looks like. Um, so if I just copy that, go back to the Shelly interface, you can see something here called um, actions. So if you click on, click on actions, there's one here that says output switch. So if you enable that and then enter that HTTP command, in this case, I want to turn that device on. So I just press one and then I just press save. minimize it and then if I do the switched off URL enable it again put the HTTP request in for that target device and then click save so that's just going to reboot now if I go back to the Shelly interface now so when I switch this uh, relay on on the Shelly if you look on the right on my Fibaro switch I've got a loft light here which is the device I'm going to send a HTTP request to that should toggle on and off so if I press on here it's already on so if I now press off that should go off so you can see it's fairly quick as well because it's a local HTTP command so again on and then if I switch it again that will go off a little bit of a delay so i thought that was really useful so you can either control these shelly devices via the web interface that they broadcast on your local area network or you can do it on the shelly cloud but if you don't want to do that you can use http commands or web hooks as uh, as you can call them and you can control these devices directly i think that's quite useful not just to control between device shelly devices but also you could use a Shelly device to control a non-Shelly device and vice versa. Or if you're writing any scripts, you could use a HTTP request uh, to fire off um, commands uh, to your Shelly devices. Anyway, I thought uh, that would be useful. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.